If you'll stand for our offertory hymn, our offertory hymn will do all hell the power. We'll do all four verses. All four verses of all hell the power. <coughs> Are you ready to worship him forever? Amen. Yes. Amen. We'll crown him King of kings and Lord of lords. He's Lord of all. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we just worship you today and praise you and thank you that you are an awesome God. You're the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the creator of this universe, the giver of life, our Savior and our friend. And Lord, this morning, we just want to express to you our love for you, our joy in knowing that you're our Savior. And Father, we thank you for all of your blessings, for all the benefits of being in the kingdom of God. And Father, we give you honor and glory this day. Father, we just come at this time in this service, Lord, to worship you through our giving. And fathers, we pray so many times, Lord, I, I truly pray that it would be an act of worship. Thank you, Lord, for how you have blessed us in so many ways. Lord, in spite of difficult times, Lord, you are right here with us. And Father, I thank you for how you care for us, how you provide for us. Lord, for how you watch over us in every way. And so, Lord, we just want to come and worship you now in this time of giving. Father, we love you. We thank you. We praise you. And, Father, as we enter into the remaining time in this service, Lord, I pray that, that as the choir sings, as Elsie sings, Lord, that you'll just bless them in a powerful way. Lord, that the anointing will rest upon them. And, Father, that our hearts will be touched and blessed through the music, through the songs, through the Word. And Father, as Pastor Henry comes to bring the message to us that you've laid on his heart for today, Father, I pray that we will prepare our hearts right now to receive this Word that you've given and to respond to it by the leading of your Holy Spirit. 
Holy Spirit, I pray that you will begin to work in our lives and stir our hearts and bring change. Father, that we'll open our eyes and open our ears that we can see you and hear you and receive this word today. Father, I pray that there will not be any hindrances. There will not be any distractions. We come against every scheme that the enemy would devise to keep your word from going forth and being heard today. And Father, I pray for Pastor Henry, Lord, that you would take him, hide him behind the cross. Let your anointing rest mightily upon him and use him in a powerful way this day. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.